Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl, second one here, back with my Persona 4 Golden Let's Play. Last time, we got to one of the most hilarious parts of this game, and that was the culture festival and the, uh, the cross-dressing competition and uh, the swimsuit competition, the beauty pageant. It was hilarious, just everyone's reactions to everyone's outfits and everything, telling you the funniest part of the game, I swear. But, uh, yeah. After that, there really hasn't been much else to do. I mean, we hung out at Yukiko's Inn, which didn't end up very well either. Because, well, we entered the hot springs and the girls thought we were spying. In reality, they were in there at the wrong time. It was the boys' time. That they were supposed to be allowed in there, but we weren't, so... Or, the, the girls weren't supposed to be there, is the bottom line, I should say. But they thought we weren't supposed to be there. And of course, Yukiko w wouldn't admit to it, but uh... Let's see, I guess for now we still have to work on our social links. Hmm... I don't think we had anything to really do last time. We couldn't find anything. If I remember right. I checked around and couldn't find anything. I'll check Junez for Adachi, but something tells me he won't be there either. I know everyone probably saw Marie. She's already finished, so we don't need to worry about her social link. Because it's done. Yes, unfortunately, leave the shopping district. And check Junez. I really need to get his social link going. Ugh! Nope. Is there anything else productive I could do? I'm trying to think. Um, I could go to Okina City here. Or the beach. Hmm. I could go see a movie with one of my social links. That might be a good idea. Because I haven't done that. And that's a new feature here. In this version of the game. So. God, I can't wait for more people to have access to it. I mean, I guess plenty of people do now that it's on Steam. But, you know. Who'd prefer to play on console? Like, honestly, I do. This is like one of... One of two games that I have on my PC. I prefer consoles, but that's just me. 30 frame. Okay. Daichiko story. Okay. Heartwarming drama about the life and death of a dog. Oh. Oh! This is a nod to Hachiko in Shibuya. Yeah, okay. Should we go see a movie? Yep. By the way, of course, I think this is where they got the idea to put in a Persona 5. Could we take... Really? I was hoping a certain somebody would be on this list. Who should I take? Decisions, decisions. Kanji and Rise are two that my social link is behind with them. Who should I take? Um, Rise. Because I need the abilities from her social link. Even if you don't care for her as a character, the abilities you get through her social link, you're going to want in battle. So yeah. Hey, Senpai. What's up? Want to ask me out? Uh, oh, you really did want to ask me out? The movies? Of course I'll go. Oh, see ya. I'll be looking for you in front of the theater. See you there. Hey, Rise. Thanks for waiting. Thanks for waiting, Senpai. <laughs> oh, it's just us, huh? And you called to invite me? Well, let's go. <laughs> well, let's go. Hopefully she likes the movie. It's about a dog. Who wouldn't? Deeply moved. Oh yeah, you get social stats for this. Good. I think. Oh, really? Hold on a minute. Really? That was fun. Nice. We should do that again. Of course. If I have time to, yeah. Unless the rub... <laughs> 
I really need to freaking get Dojima's social link done. And I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to do it. It's cold today. I don't think I am. Oh, crap. I think we're at a certain part. Now for our next story. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. Thick fog has appeared uh -huh. frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. There's been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. But you never know, right? <laughs> One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. Mm -hmm. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. Naturally. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Oh, that man came to my school. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. And that statement is... In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind, free from the influence of those around her. Gee, I wonder who the student is. It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. You know, that's very true. Sometimes children can be smarter than adults in some ways. Depends. You know that old saying, out of the mouths of babes? It's kind of true. Sometimes. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. Absolutely. On that note, Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded, but some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. Oh yeah, that's always... Yeah, that's always his concern. The news continues. Uh, oh, Nanako. My head hurts. Oh. Nanako's face looks red. Uh oh. Fever. That's usually what that means. She has a high fever. Oof, not even a low grade. You need to put her to bed. Yes. We must take care of precious Nanako. You gave Nanako some medicine and had her lie down. Hey, big bro. Yes? Are you... going back home in spring? Sadly, yeah. I kinda have to. It's going to be winter soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? <laughs> Do you wanna build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. <laughs> and we yes. We can play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring. Oh. Nanako seems to have fallen asleep. You should take her to her bed later. She is so precious. Okay, but that wasn't the event I was thinking of. But still, I think time is short. Alright, let's see if I can answer this without cheating. So, the culture festival is over. Old Man Winter is on the way. Now, we're entering the season for winter sports. Figure skating's really popular, isn't it? All right, this may be gym class, but I'm gonna give you an English lesson. Think of it as mental strength training. <laughs> Tell me, what is the figure in figure skating? What the figure in figure skating refers to? Oh, um, <clears throat> well, I would assume the human body, but just because I want to get it right, let's see. Where's that list? Where are they? I think that's it. But my guess right now is the human body. I mean, it's the one thing that makes sense. But we will see. Maybe I'm wrong. Highly doubt it, though. What date are we on? November 1st in game.
Where are we? Not that far down. Come on, Paige. Up, up, up. Aha, here we go. Oh! Geometric shapes, you know? That was my second guess, but I thought for sure. But I guess it couldn't be that simple, really, could it? Oh well. I accept that I was incorrect. So. Aha! Originally, figure skaters had to draw specific shapes into the ice and were judging their accuracy. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then it developed into a sport? Okay. Learn something new every day. Personally, when I hear the word figure, I think of action figures. <laughs> Those skaters look like beautiful dolls anyway. Ha ha ha. Well, yeah. They're meant to look gorgeous and elegant on the ice. And a lot of them do. I answer correctly. Ha ha ha. I don't need knowledge, but hey. May as well get it right while I can, you know? Why not? Alright, social links. I know. Wait till something occurs. I don't like that idea. Alright, classroom. Or not classroom. Practice building. Let's see. <clears throat> Will Rise. Or Rise won't be there. She'd be on the first floor where Yukiko was. But let's see. Is Kanji hanging out? No. I forget what Daisy shows up anyway. Okay, um, first floor. Let's see. Is Rise around? Fingers crossed she is. Nope, I don't see her. Well, darn. All right, then let's go into town. Maybe for some dumb reason, Kanji will be at, uh, Hanging out around the walkway there, in the northern part. But let's, um, go to Juness first. Will he be there? He is, but it's not a social link. Darn you, hey. Adachi! Duh. Must you do this to me? I'm here. Ready and willing to do my social link with you, and you just won't have it, will you? Fine. Be that way. Eh. Alright, let's see. I doubt anyone's around here. It's not a rainy day. So... Going to say Aya wouldn't really matter. Ugh. Yosuke, I don't need to ride with you. Oh, book? Is there a new book? Hey! Aha! Peace and understanding. I shall buy it. I still haven't been catching bugs, but whatever. I think there is an achievement for getting all the books. I don't even think I have. Hello. Hard boots. Okay, right. Yeah, okay. Sh I Should I go to Daidara here and see if there's any new equipment? I don't think there would be yet. I can't, it can't hurt to just look. I got nothing else to do. I need to get some new personas as well. But I think I will do that before we go into the next place. Alright. Okay, no. No new weapons. Chie is not gonna be with me. Kanji, wait. Did I not get that for you? Oh, or did I give you, um... Your hit rate goes up, but your attack goes down. That's... I think it's best to leave your attack high. Okay, that must be why I didn't get it. Naoto! I think we want that. Yep. 
Yes. There we go. Oh, Teddy. Did you get anything? No. Um, accessory-wise. Did we get anything worthwhile here, either? Panic. Alright, it's the same for all of them. No, not really. Silence. Eh, my SP is okay, especially because I have um, Victory Cry, but eh. How about armor? Anything new in the armor department? Not really. Yuki. Is that better than what he has? Yeah. <laughs> um. Kanji's gonna be on my team, so yeah. Nato's all set. Teddy's all set. Okay, but what I have is better. Okay. So, we're good. I could... Hmm. Hold on. I didn't, like, sell my materials. Hold on. <clears throat> or do I not... I sold him a while ago. I don't think I got any since. Yeah, okay, I did. Alright. So that means we have the most updated equipment right now that I can have. Unless something unlocks once the next dungeon does. But we'll see. Oh, um, vending machine. Yes. We need SP stuff because, again, well, I... At Victory Cry, the team does not. So. <laughs> we had best try to be prepared. Oh, not. I swear I pressed down on the D pad. Fine. Fine. I'll live with it. Okay, Kanji, are you, like, hanging out on the street by any chance? Because I know you can appear there, but I think that's only on days where there is no school. Yeah, I'm not seeing him. Okay. Well, darn then. What should I do? What should I do? Should I go to the flood plane? Because I know there's a social link there that I haven't done, but I, it might not be worth starting because of how late in the game I kind of am now. There's so much I know I haven't done in this playthrough, but my main objective was to show up the story to those who may not have seen it before. Because I know, like I mentioned, a lot of people got into the series with Persona 5. So, yeah. Oh, puppy! He ran away! Oh... Okay. You know, that's something. I think there was a request that I still haven't turned in for the fox. I haven't really been struggling making sure I do that because I have Victory Cry. I don't really... I don't need him to refill my SP. But then again, he helps with the team. So... <clears throat> Might be a smart idea anyway. Because otherwise, he'll charge me an arm and a leg to refill my SP. And let me tell you... I mean, I'm sure Victory Cries in the original game, I just never got it. But yeah. That was a pain in the butt when I was doing my playthrough of the original PS2 version. <laughs> it probably was in the original, I just never went through and got the right persona. I don't think that was a golden edition or anything. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I'm just bad at fusing personas, I haven't been diligent with it. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, all right, all right, very, very well, fair enough, okay. I thought there was another request that I had done, though. It's fine. Okay. What else could I do to make good use of my time? I'm trying to think. 
Is there anything? Oh, you know what? Isn't there a lottery thing? Like somewhere around here that I haven't done? Nishi. Oh. I swear there was. Is that it? Oh. Mailbox. There it is. Aha! That's what you do. But which one is which? <laughs> Plentiful combo or the rare combo? Fine. It better be good. But I thought there was also like a lottery thing you could do around here in this area. Maybe I was thinking of that. So that's where you turn in the prize stickers. Okay. Alright. Um. Oh shoot. Is there a job I can do? I took a job. I know I did. I have been neglecting that. Let me see. I forget what days they were. I don't think they were Tuesdays, but I'll go to the bus stop and find out. I have no reason. Yeah, okay. Well, gee. Alright. Since we went to Okina City last time, let's go to the beach. Why not? Although maybe going to the movies with Kanji would have been a good move. Because I don't remember if he was going to advance yet. What will I do? Oh! I can fish here. I forgot. Um... Swim. I forget what swimming does. More courage, maybe? Aha! Good. I was right. Welcome back. Hi. Ah, we can make food. Sorry, I gotta go right back out. I'm gonna see if a certain somebody is hanging out. We'll see. Something tells me no, though. But that certain person has been... Avoiding me like the plague. Yeah, he's right there. But... Hey. Uh, must you do this to me? It's so annoying. So I'm ready to do my social links. But they aren't. <laughs> That's why you gotta follow. If you're gonna go for 100% on a first run, you have to follow, like, a strict guide that tells you what to do, like, day by day. And if you don't follow it to the T, you screw it up and you can't do it. Really? Yosuke, I don't need to talk to you. Dead gummit. Okay. Go back home. Very well. Should I read then? I dig in a new book. And wasn't there a book I didn't finish yet? Actually, you know what? Let me make a save while I'm at it. There we go. Okay. I could make a lunch, too, actually. But that takes up the night. Oh, hey, Chie. Oh, right, right, right. Actually. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I think I should wait to do that until the next place opens. Do that second boss in that dungeon first. Then we'll move on to the brand new one and do that. Because that gives me a chance to level up, maybe acquire some new personas throughout the place. You know the drill. I've been trying to show off each of the second bosses. So hopefully I've done an okay job at that. <laughs> okay. Um, farewell to man. Wasn't there another, like, longer book? 
That I hadn't finished? Aha! Oh, that's fishing. Bugs, gardening. Okay. We'll read this. It's short. Nice. Understanding, never a bad thing. I'm kind of sad Dojima wasn't there at night. Senpai! Hey, Risei! I had so much fun last week. There was the culture festival, and then we had to sleep over with everyone. Yeah, but then you clobbered us with those barrels because you thought we were invading your privacy. <laughs> I was really happy. I thought that I'd never be able to experience things like that anymore. Oh! Did you see the weather report? It looks like the weather is going to start getting rough this weekend. We need to keep a close eye on the Midnight Channel. It hasn't rained lately, so we haven't been able to see it. We might be in for a surprise the next time it's on. Let's be careful. Yeah. The town seems to think that the case is closed, but the real killer hasn't been caught yet. That's right. Poor fools are ignorant of the truth. But that's where we come in. <clears throat> because we reach out for the truth. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Senpai. Hey, Kanji, what's up, my man? You're not doing anything? No, we'll see. Decide later. That's so. I'm sorry. I need to see if there's anyone else. It's you and Risei. You, Risei, and Dojima are like my priority if I can do it. And I forget when Naoto's opens up, because... Yeah, big surprise, she gets a social link too. But the game is very good at making sure you have enough time to get her done, because it makes sure she's available often, I find. So hers shouldn't be too difficult. I wouldn't think. Alright, so... We will go to first floor and just check for Rise. I doubt she's gonna be there. We know Kanji is, so worst case, we're gonna talk to him. Nah, she's not here. Although, hello, Nato. Um, practice building... Should I check around the city for anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. Hey! Oh! Do we have Emperor? I believe we do. Yep, okay. Hello! Yo. Hey, you senpai? You have some time? Yes, I do. Closer soon, that's what we want! And we shall! Spend yeah. time with our buddy Kanji. I want to stop at your place. Oh yeah, are we finishing his link? I thought we were pretty far, but... My room. I brought Kanji here at his insistence. Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, it's fine. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Oh? Do tell. Risei stopped by our store the other day. Oh, cool. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. And? And she said that was creepy. Risei! Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. I'm surprised at her. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Ah, there we go. Okay, good. She changed her tune. Good. Pissed good me girl. Off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. Yeah, I get it, Kanji. So I decided that i do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. Right. Not just about my hobby, but like, when the police suspected me. It didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. You automatically think thought whatever they want. You automatically thought they wouldn't believe you. Yeah. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. 
It's okay. We were happy to help. The slightest effort to try and make them understand. You were scared. It's easy for me to act tough. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. There you go. I want you to have this, senpai. Aw. Thank you. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. Yeah, see? That, again, is the message of this game. Accepting who you are for your faults. Learning to just basically love yourself no matter what. It's a good message. Accept yourself, faults and all. And face those faults head on and try to improve yourself if you feel like you need to. You know? Part of the reason I love this game. Besides the fun story. Ooh! Yeah, I forgot. His evolves. Rukuten... Mao? Is that how you say it? Probably not. I'm I'm bad, I know. This? <laughs> For reals? Yeah! I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? Yes, you have. You're my hero, dude. Aww. And my best bud. And you're ours, too. You can sense Kanji's straightforward feelings. No. Oh. Hey, we did it. We finished the social link. Yes. Another one bites the dust. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. With the Emperor Arcana. Yay! Okay. Ooh, Odin. Nice. Ooh, what power did he get? Evade Wind? Aw, oh, that's... I mean, that's good for him because... Obviously because he uses lightning. Wind is his weakness. But... Eh, trip... Ooh. Triples evasion rate. Okay. That is something to kind of consider. Mm. But his other moves are better, though. There's accessories I could get for him if I really want to have him evade wind attacks easier. It wouldn't be triple evasion, but... Uh, I hope I don't regret this. All right. So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class <laughs> right here. You know, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Don't worry. Even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me. Oh, I'm sure. I have no doubts. <laughs> Aw. That was sweet. So there we go. That's another social link down. So now, you're back. Dojima! Yes! Yes! Oh! Diet food. Okay. Alright. Dojima, where were we? I think we were, we were at what, rank 8? Yeah, so I'd be going to 9. Ah, uh, it's cutting it so close. Can I do it somehow? Uh. I'm really hoping I can. I really am hoping I can do this. Alright, I need to get his chart up. I am determined to finish his link. Because then I can focus on the rest of, like, the main group. Alright, hero fans, where are you? Gotta be one of the last pages I opened up. Hold on. Not that one. Rick, where are you? Okay, here we go. Good. Dojima pushed on or er, pushed on to go to your room for some reason? Huh. Now then, first off. Yes. It seems Dojima has something in mind. Sorry, but can you go call Nanako down here? 
Sure. Take your time. He has some kind of surprise plan, I see. You called Nanako, asked Sojima, ordered you to do. You told me to go over there. <laughs> yeah, she's like, make up your mind, Dad. <laughs> Cutie. A cake? Wow! Oh, yum. What are we celebrating? Um, us? Uh, well, today is a special day for us. Aww. Special day? That's right. Today's the day when you, me, and him become family. Aww. What about before? Yeah, I me. Mean, weren't we already? <laughs> uh, well. A anyways, it's the day that we become a real family. Aww. Hmm. I don't really get it, but it makes me happy. Oh, she's adorable. Right. I Let's love her so much. Yeah. Look at the little blushing face. She is too precious. Ugh. Nanaka used up all her energy and fell asleep. Uh, well. <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry about making you go along with this. Oh no! It was it was fun. Plus cake, hello. You're a nice guy. <laughs> I felt like I needed to do this to draw the line. And I wanted Nanako to know. Got it. She has to know how important my daughter is to me. Of course. <laughs> I'm sure she does. She's looking more and more like Chisato. Her smile, her strong attitude. It was hard for me to even look at Nanako's face because she reminds me so much of Chisato. No. Chisato died because she went to pick up Nanako. There were times when I'd come close to believing that. But even then, I can't count the number of times she saved me just by being there. Aww. If I was living by myself, I would never have thought about taking you in. She convinced I think I was you, huh? Scared. Scared to have someone else around. I was afraid we'd become a family. And then I'd lose it all again. Yeah, I get it, Dojima. I was running away by chasing a guy who'd run away himself. <laughs> it was almost funny. Yeah, obviously the coward who ran your wife over just took off and never took responsibility. Aw. Dojima's smile looks sad. I've been scared this whole time. That's why I used revenge as an excuse to not spend time with her. Um, was it hard or you stopped running or both good choices? Was it hard? Yeah. Yeah, it was. I can only imagine. Running, regretting, that crap all ends tonight. That's right. I'm not going to lose the things that are important to me. Never again. You can feel Dojima's strong resolve. Okay, one more to go. One more. Can I do it? Can I do it? That's the strength you show me. Thanks. No problem. Can I do it before a certain story event happens? Which I won't spoil. Culture day, so I have the day off. Cool. Let's see. Any good social links around? Ah, it's raining, so I very much doubt it. Let's see. I don't see anyone. That doesn't bode well. Come on, really? 
Oh, I should have guessed. So, uh, Aya? Unless, I doubt it though, but it can't hurt to check. It can't hurt. Will he be there? Nope. Alright. Fine, be that way. I, I could technically go in and do that. Um, second boss now, but like I said, I'm gonna wait. Um, I guess Aya. I can't think of anything else good to do. Really. Oh boy. Alright, fingers crossed for some good stat upgrades. Come on. And maybe Doji Mo will be around tonight and I can finish his link. People! Yes, I know. What do you give me? Ah! No upgrades! That's fine. Darn it. Okay, Dojima, please be here. And please let me be able to upgrade you. I didn't think about that. Ugh. Welcome back. Of course he's not here. Dang it! Okay, so... For the heck of it, I'll check out here. I doubt it'll matter, but... Worst case, I read. Or it could work. Yeah, not even here. Oh, but maybe... Reset! Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Senpai. Hi! Well, pretty lucky I happened to run into you at this hour. I just finished helping out at the store. Yes. Really? Yay, I get to spend time with you. Good. Okay. Senpai. Did you know the show we played at Juness went viral on the internet? Cool. That song is really good. I love True Story. People have comments like, What band is this? And when's their next gig? <laughs> Maybe it's a shame we were only doing it for one day. Hey, Senpai. Why don't we play a secret show next time? Um... Sure. <laughs> Sounds fun. Huh? What? Ugh. Teddy is rubbing off on you. What will you do if you fall and hurt yourself, huh? Oh. Uh -uh. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Don't try and manufacture any more... Any more legends, okay? Hmm. I think I'll pass on doing any more contests for a while. It's not like I'm back into showbiz yet. But... Er, oh, but... Hmm. If I wear Teddy's costume, maybe people won't know it's Rosette. Clever. Excellent, that is what we want. <laughs> oh, I should be getting back. When while my grandmother worry. Oh yeah, here, Senpai. I want you to have it, Senpai. Aw, thank you. I've been into this lately. I have one for you too. Well, good night, Senpai. Night, Rise, good night, thank senpai. you. Good, so next time I talk to her, we're good to go. Senpai! Hey, Kanji. Been a while since it rained last, hasn't it? The weather report says this rain's gonna last all night. We're gonna have to watch the Midnight Channel. Oh, no. Ugh. Only we know that the real killer is still out there, right? Now that I think about it, we have to be even tougher now that the cops aren't on the case. Valid point. Aw, oh, man. Am I... Mm, am I out of time?
Because if we're at the part I think we are, I am. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, you saw me. I was buying the latest bully teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shopping district is getting empty with Junes taking all their business. You could hear a Kankodori chirp over there. Hey kids, quit going to Juness so often. Visit your local shopping district too. Hmm. Who can tell me what kind of bird a Kankodori is? You, Hanachan? You look like you have no problem with silence. Wait. There's really a bird called the Kankodori? I thought it was just a saying. Sorry, you, I have no idea. Uh uh. Uh-oh. I don't know. Um Oh dear. Uh and this is not on my answer list. Could it be? It's gotta be this. Yes! Ah. Uh, that's right, I knew you'd get it, Hanachan. A Kankadori is a variety of cuckoo. The names are even a bit similar. Its chirping sounds sad, which is what led to that particular figure of speech. There's even a famous basho haiku about it. Kankadori. Let me feel the loneliness in my grieving heart. Yes, I should put that on the test. Ah. Store that info away for later. Got it. Phew, that was close. Thanks. No problem. <laughs> Even though I'm done with your social link, I got expression though. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Oh, but it's all rainy and gross. Ugh. Alright, Reese, will you be hanging out? Nope, I don't see her anywhere. Hi, Yuki. Ugh. And I doubt Kanji's in here. Probably won't matter. Shoot, how far away am I for finishing Kanji's link, actually? Oh, wait, no. We finished his link. Duh. Duh. So, out of, like, the main group that I wanted to finish... I feel bad I haven't really done Margaret... Dojima's like, or Dojima and Risei are the last two I really need to try and focus on. Okay. I think the rest I've done pretty well. Teddy is story related automatic. Okay. So, Dojima, Risei, and Adachi are the three I need to really work on. And then, Naoto after that. Okay. Fair enough. I'll have to try to keep that in mind. Okay. Oh, I don't think anyone's going to be around, so it might be back to Aya. For them stats. Didn't think so. Just thought I'd check. Yeah, I don't see anyone. So lame. Nobody's around. Oh, actually, I should try and turn in more prize stickers. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, really? Okay. I doubt anyone's in Junez. I'm, I'm not gonna waste time. I'm pretty sure... Adachi will not be there until the next story event happens. Okay. So... I, uh... I can't think of anything else to do, but maybe I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> Give me some good. Come on. Yes! Mr. Perfect. Ooh. Does that mean... That's the achievement I got. Ooh. Does that mean I maxed out all my stats? Did I? I think that's what that achievement means. I'll have to look it up later. If so, yes! 
I was hoping I could, because I've, I've actually never maxed out my stats. Dad's late. In uh, this game, anyway. In Persona 5, I have. On my first run through as well, so. Ah. Uh, he here we go. Keys? I think I'm out of time to do Dojima's Link. For now. If this is. what I think it is. It was the delivery man. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. Oh? Okay, maybe Hello. not. This is the Dojima residence. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh huh. All right. It's okay. Oh, she's it's disappointed. Uh huh. Uh huh. Big bros with me. So, okay. Bye. Oh, sweet, sweet angel. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. Stuck at work, huh? But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. There you go. She's so precious. <laughs> it's cold today, too. Wanna bring out the kotatsu? Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. That'll make it nice and warm. <laughs> You pulled out the Gotatsu from the closet. Okay, I'm turning it on. What? Aww. Is that coming on? Oh, I press X. Too quick. Nanako is disappointed. And let's get the best one to replace it. Huh? We can buy one? At you Ness? Hey, why not? Yeah! When you have some time, let's go to Juness. Of course. And consider it an investment, even if we do spend a good amount of money on a new Kotatsu. Because you're gonna use it every year, aren't you? It's worth spending money on. Or extra money, I should say. Here we go. It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. Let's see. Uh-oh. Blurrier than usual. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. It was really blurry, but you saw someone on the screen, right? Damn it. Is there going to be another kidnapping? Let's get together as soon as we can tomorrow. Good idea. The one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions. But maybe someone has an idea of who it might be. We definitely need to talk. Agreed. Just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school. Will do. So no social links for me. You decide to go to bed. Well, we knew it wasn't over. <laughs> I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. And you saw what we saw, didn't you? To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. And yet, I definitely saw someone. As did we. Could any of you tell who it was? Sadly, no. Not from a fuzzy picture like that, no way. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? Not that I know of. Hmm, I can't think of any offhand. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. Oh, His yeah. statement was read on TV. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Okay, so he's out because he's not even here. Hmm. Hmm. Jinx, Teddy. Huh. What's the matter? Oh, yeah. They stuck you at the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a very Teddy move. <laughs> I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Nanako-chan, and I'm serious about living. 
from what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? Small? I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream or your imagination. Uh. <laughs> Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. Okay, so no one's. You sense then nobody there yet. We might have to wait one more night and see. Unfortunately. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we're stuck. Having to play the waiting game kind of sucks. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Don't forget to check again later on. I won't. Hey, I'm back. Oh, man. Yeah. I think I'm officially out of time to do Dojima's Link. Welcome back! I was so close. I think I might get another chance. But not right this minute. Dad, the Kotatsu's broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. Alright, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Is that a letter? Yeah, it looks like one. It's for you, but... But... The letter is addressed to me. But the name and address of the sender are nowhere to be found. There are no stamps or postmarks on it. Meaning they walked right up to our mailbox and just shoved it in. There is only one sentence. If we don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Could he have sent another warning? Because another person appeared on the Midnight Channel? Hey, what the hell is this? Well, I think we're busted. Not often we get letters with no return address on them. So, I was right. Um, well... Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? Eh, uh, well... What are you up to? Tell him the truth. Honesty is so the best not policy. Gonna be honest with me. Well, usually it is. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. But, but, but... I will have the truth from you today. Oh, we're so dead. Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else. But I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. We are so dead. This is for your own good, got that? Yes, sir. It's all right. We're, we're not fighting. We'll be right back, so don't wait up for us to get to bed, okay? Nanako is scared. We'll be back soon. It's okay. Reassure her. Okay. I'll be waiting. Good girl. Later that night, at a room inside the police station. I'll hold on to this. Dang it. He took away my phone. Well... <sighs> now speak up. What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Well, you see... Tell him the whole truth. He decided to explain everything to him. Persona? People going inside a TV? <sighs> I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. But, ah. Uh, oh, man. Too bad you're not Senkichi from Strikers, because we took him in, or the Phantom Thieves did, and they believed him. Or, 
He believed them. Yeah. Enough. Sorry. That's enough. But we're telling the truth, Dojima. I know it sounds crazy, but it's half true. Year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. Oh but come I hoped on! You'd open up to me a little. We did. <sighs> it's a shame. Uh, I can't blame him too much. The whole story does sound completely insane. Stay here for the night. But Whoa, it's all true. Sorry. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame him. Yeah, I can't. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. Yeah, he does. And we care so, right back. Yeah. Don't take it so hard. You know, Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. Hmm. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. Right. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get chewed out again. Yeah. All right. I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Will do. Thanks, Sadachi. Meanwhile, at the Junette's grocery department. Uh, why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. <laughs> then shouldn't you try to work harder, Teddy? And you're proud of that because... Yeah. Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. <laughs> Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I've entered the information age. I mean, you did need one. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's just a cheap kids model, though. <sighs> Thank you, Yosuke. Aww. So to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. It's pretty easy. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was going to remind him about the Midnight Channel. Like we could ever forget, Yosuke. Does he not hear it because he's out? No, much worse, unfortunately. Uh, I want to go to Nanachan's place. I promised to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. It's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako-chan might be home alone. And that's not good. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. No. Oh. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Why not? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec. I'll try calling again. Still no answer. Wonder why. <laughs> He's still not picking up. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. Ah, yes, the landline. Those hardly exist anymore. <laughs> hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. He took Big Bro to the police station. W wait, oh, wait, boy. what? He got taken to the police station? Yep. Stop blabbering and let me talk, too! Good evening. <laughs> this is your Teddy speaking. Ugh, Teddy. Let's get together and eat snacks again. Now may not be a good Letter. time. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? 
Okay, that was a good thing to say. Was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? Good thinking, Yosuke, because that is correct. And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Meanwhile, at a room in the police station. Time passes slowly. It's midnight. It was raining outside when you got here. Something may appear on the midnight channel. Someone appeared. It's blurry, but you can see a small silhouette. It's a girl. Most likely someone in grade school? This is... Nanako! Yep. Dun dun dun. Yeah. You, can, you can't see her clearly, but there's no way you would mistake Nanako, whom you see every day. Nanako is on the Midnight Channel, which means she is in severe danger right now. This is why I had to try and make sure I finish her social link quickly. Your Uncle Dojima took away your cell phone. There's no way to contact your friends right now. Oh, this is very bad. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Poor thing. I'll put you at ease soon. I don't remember if that dialogue is in the original version. I don't remember. A part of me doesn't think it was. Meanwhile, on the road to the Dojima residence... Yep. How could it be her? I know what you're thinking, but Nanako-chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? Yeah, the one that we heard about at the beginning of this very video. In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako-chan. Uh huh. A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening paper. Oh, that was so stupid. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Maybe, but to release her name and picture? Bad idea. Oh my god. I mean, they must have asked Dojima, but still. I should have realized it much sooner. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. What are we gonna do? Nanako-chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Go. Yosuke Senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji-kun too. They'll explain the situation there. Move, right, Nanako. I'll join them right away. Nanako. And I'll let Nanako. 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 Yes, Go. please do. Hurry, Nato. Sometime later, in a room at the police station. Hmm? What are you guys doing here? What do you think? Hey, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say you could go in there. Nanako-chan's missing. What? What do you mean? Just what he said. N Nato's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan... I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. Oh. I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. He did. At least he had a gut feeling. is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. <laughs> Nanako. If only that's all it was. Tojima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... 
It's true. Why? Why, Nanako? Um, it's probably because the media... What are you doing? The reason doesn't matter at this point. What matters is finding her. Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? Oh, I don't know. The fact that she's gone from home and the front door is open? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. No, you didn't. How long has she been missing? You Have arrogant you fool. Any or ransom letters? No. No, but damn it, there's no time for this right now. Yeah, just just do it. Do what you're uh, supposed to do. All right. I'll try contacting each of the departments. Do your damn job, you fool. Even if you tell them this is connected to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Like, we don't know Where that. Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way... There's only Shut one up. way to That's find why out. I'm Kojima left alone. Oh, bad idea. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Dojima san's run off half cocked. He's angry. Scared. Adachi san, we'll go look for her too. So please let him go. Huh? You know I can't. Come on, Adachi. Be a be a bro here. Come on. So what's going it's on? It's important. Whoa, hey. If I let all you guys in here, then I'm really in trouble. Besides, we don't even know if this thing's... Quit your bitching! Now ain't the time for that shit! Thank you, Kanji. The hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger? A little girl, no less. You gonna own up if something happens? Huh? Kanji-kun. I know how you feel, but if you don't tell me what's going on, there's really nothing I can do. We kinda told you. Ah, Didn't we? So you agree to release him once we explain the situation? Very well, then. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. In Too any late. case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. Okay, fair enough. Let's go over again what we know. There's no doubt in my mind. That this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Right. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. You mean, Nanako-chan opened the door herself? Meaning? Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Right? Um, for all of us? But the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. That combined with the fact that there was no force entry means... So is the killer... Someone Nana-chan knows? Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner. Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? A friend of Dojima's, maybe? Eh, probably not. Dojima-san pretty much keeps to himself at the station. The only one Nanako-chan might know would be me, his partner. Uh, I've been here this whole time, of course. I'm sure you have. Hmm. I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. Okay. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Huh? TV? What? 
<laughs> Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. Right. I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. So how would somebody take a TV that's big like that everywhere they go so easily? You think he's using a car? Given the efficiency hmm. of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. <laughs> I'd expect someone to notice since most of the victims vanished during the day. Yeah, you'd think it'd be glaringly obvious. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. It's something that blends in? Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. Yeah, because they're always stopping to take out packages and take them to where they need to be. So, why would anyone suspect a thing? And if it were a local company, it'd be the same delivery man every time. So he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. Yeah, because everyone's assigned specific routes. Be the same person each time. So, hmm. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone. Meaning we wouldn't know his face. But she would. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? A profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? Uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is gonna be... A lot more difficult then. Well? Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's right. a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san. Yeah, you better. After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Taro Namatame. Namatame? The Anka singer's husband. Yeah, mentioned all the way at the very, very beginning. All we know about him is his occupation, but I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. The address is, it's not far from here. Well, then what are we waiting for? I give him the clue, and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Let it go, Adachi. He's kind of panicking right now. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. Right. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Thanks, Adachi. Adachi. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. Yeah, let's move. We don't have time to waste. Watch where you're going. Ah, oh, he's trying to stay on him. Is that smoke? Yeah. An accident? <gasps> D 
Dojima-san, are you all right? Clearly not. Wh where's Nanako? Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. That's right, I should call back up too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? I'm sorry, Dojima. She's not uh, here. What happened? I was on my way to Namatame's house. When I saw him drive past me, I gave chase, and he... Damn it. Where's Nanako? I'm Namatame. Both gone. Find them. Uh, please. But how? Oh, yeah. Maybe there's clues in the truck. That Wait, is a good can't. place to start. We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. She's right. Look! There really is a TV in there! Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. Aha! Uh -huh. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world. Thus, I must save people. Save, huh? Save. The hell's he mean by that? <gasps> this... It's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yuki and Kawamagi, us. Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Meaning we were right about uh, Mitsuo being a copycat. Wow. And that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? Who else could it be about? I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. He used the same trick on all the victims. He'd just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery, then throw the victim into the TV in his truck. And he could get away with no one being the wiser because... Who pays attention to a delivery truck? Namatame is the killer! Sure looks that we way. We need to go save Nanako-chan. Here, let's use this TV and... We can't. Oh, wait a sec. We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow, the same way as usual. But... He's right on this. If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? We need to go the way that we know is safe. So... Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Dojima-san. We need to get him to the hospital fast. <clears throat> oh, man. Nanako. Looks like he's regained consciousness. You guys. Hey. Are you alright? How you feeling? I almost look like hell right now. Who wouldn't? <laughs> it's okay. Nanako. She's my reason for living. I know. If I lose her, I might as well be dead. We're gonna find her, okay? <sighs> she must be so scared right now. Waiting for someone to save her. We're going to. And here I am. <coughs> it's all right. When she needs me most, I'm. I'm helpless. You did everything you could to try and get to him before he took off. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Dojima. 
Dojima-san. It's okay. None of us saw this coming. If anything okay? happens to Nanako. I know. I'll make Namatame pay. Oh, trust me. You'll be second in line, because we're going to make him pay first. Believe you, you me. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. I will. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. Leave it to me. I will not come back without her. We will her. rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. We won't let you down. That much we can promise. You can sense stronger determination than usual from everyone's expression. Nanako-chan's yeah, right. on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Yeah, she is priority one. Yeah, we're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. That's right. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. That's right. Yeah. No way. This is it. Let's go all out and get it done. I made a promise with Nana-chan. I said that we'd play again and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. It will be okay. Because we're going to make it okay. we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. Yeah, nobody else can Come get in on. there. We can do this, guys. No problem. Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. That's Nothing right. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. Damn right. Everyone's feelings are one. Rescue Nanako no matter what. And I wholeheartedly agree. Of course, we're gonna rescue her before the next foggy day. We're not leaving her in there. Okay, um. I'm gonna go back to town for now. Just, let's see, we've been going an hour and 30 minutes. So, I'm gonna go to the, the uh, central shopping district, go to the save point, and save my game. There it is. Come on. Thank you. Um. I guess I will save over this one. But yeah, we have a. Uh, we've kind of reached a turning point in this game now, so. Yeah. The plot's gonna get even more exciting. As if it wasn't already from here on out. It's really gonna be intense. You'll see. I won't spoil anything. But yeah, I uh, I hope I get another chance to finish Dojima's Link. I'm hoping. Because I know this game has a little more time. I don't want to go too into detail because, again, that's a spoiler for those who have never seen the golden content. So I won't say any more. But uh, yeah, the plot's going to heat up even more than it already has. You will see. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this long video. If you did, leave a like and share it around if you want. If you want to follow me on Twitter, where I do talk about Persona from time to time, or support the channel on Patreon, both links will be in the video description below. There's also the uh, Super Thanks thing that YouTube has now, if anyone wants to do that. No one has to, of course, but it's there if you want to. And then, yeah, next time, we're going to try to get some social links done and get in there and save Nanako before it's too late. And until then, See you guys later.